Hi, this is Mike Hells from Emerson, and today I'm going to go through a partial stroke test using our Heart7 PSD ESD. At the same time, what I will demonstrate is that with our system, we also have the ability um, to measure electronically, as you can see here, the pressure. So we, we just performed the test, and there are the results using our AF2 flow sensor. So we're able to measure in real time um, and as well as getting a footprint from the device in conjunction with the AF2 we can get some more diagnostic data. Okay, so moving back to the device um, and today is Pride Day so you'll see some flags and some literature maybe on the walls and I'm also wearing a very colourful t-shirt. So then we'll just go through the calibration method. So on the front of the display if I go to set valve calibration, select yes, and what we're going to do is we're going to do fail clockwise to close. Press select, set to zero. The valve releases the pressure because what we have is we have a 24 volt DC supply on the solenoid and a 24 volt DC supply on the device. Press select, it's storing the calibration point at the moment just takes a few seconds just to restore that. Now we'll set the valve to 100% again. The valve will go through the cycle and set it to 100%. And again we just need a little bit of time then to register that position. And select storing calculation point. The diagnostic features, what we're doing then is we're recording the time of the valve, how it operates. So that's completed the calibration test. The next test that we need to do is we need to, cali we need to calibrate the partial stroke, so we need to do a partial stroke test. So if we go to, sorry I've gone too, too many times through the menu there, so temperature, set history, set bar calibration, particle stroke, yes. So there we go, it's just tested and done a partial stroke calibration because we've already calibrated the valve, then we do the partial stroke test. And then what we're able to do, you can initiate that obviously via the system and um, via the control system or by the button on the side. That initiates a partial stroke test and I believe you can also do it through the menu again. Uh, partial stroke, initiate partial stroke. Are you sure? There we go. So that's initiating it through the button, through the menu, and you can obviously do it through the third party on the control room. And as we mentioned previously, um, what we do have is we have that information stored again through our AF2, so we can see the timings, we can see the reaction of the valve, uh, the air pressure, uh, and again get some more diagnostic data. Thank you.